I've had this Hot Wheels GMC motorhome casting sitting around, and I wanted to do something interesting with it. Then I came across the Palmer Designs GMC motorhome that they took to Bonneville in 2013. And I knew this is what I wanted to base this build on. Yeah, you may have noticed in those pictures, there's a lot of sponsors for that vehicle. And there was no way I could put them all on this little tiny casting without them, without a lot of them turning into a little blur. But I still tackled the project. The blue glass, I actually really liked that it had blue glass. And you'll see why later. But the casting was in pretty clean shape. And, uh, you know, I stripped it. And uh, you see the post is a little bent there. The tip of it. But that's easy enough to work around. You know, anybody who's been doing this for a while has run into, you know, more than a few of those. That just however they did it, it's not perfect, but you work around it. So drilled it, tapped it, threw a screw in it. It's one post, one post there towards the front that you see. And the back half of the casting hooks into the base. So there you see it. I did need to clean it up a little bit. You know, there were some casting lines and fortunately it wasn't really play worn, but once it's all stripped off, you know, there's areas that just needed to be cleaned up. Some of the uh, casting lines were kind of sloppy. Some of the merging areas were just kind of weird where, where two areas would come together and there was just excess metal there. So I needed to get rid of that. But uh, it cleaned up pretty well. I, I was really happy with it. There's, there's, I mean, it's a box. <laughs> so it cleans up pretty well. It's slightly different than the actual GMC motorhome they used at Bonneville. But, you know, it's close enough. So I got it all cleaned up, you know, throw it in the IPA before I, you know, before I go to paint it, I throw it in the IPA to clean it off, wipe it off with the, Blue shop towel, blue paper towel, and I got it all cleaned up. Turned out looking pretty good. I used black lacquer for the paint, the clear lacquer that you see there after the decals are on. The primer, I used that for the color on the interior and then coated that with flat Tamiya clear. So that's basically the paints I used. I knew I wanted to swap out the wheels, and I've got a bunch of these old Beatles vans sitting around with real riders on them. I thought those wheels would come in great. Designed some decals, and there you see the main images I took, creating the actual decals, and then I needed to create the uh, white toner decals. The black you see there in the bottom corner actually prints as white. And then it was time to throw the decals on. Now some of them, now here you see I'm putting this on the base. There was enough of those side areas on the base to put decals down there. And uh, this one is Vehicle Effects, one of the sponsors. And that is just a white toner decal on its own. There's no color layer that goes over that one. Same with the CMTA decals that you'll see on the sides as well and on the back. When I painted this, I didn't detail headlights or taillights. Uh, this being a, well, there you see it with the white toner decals down first. This being a race vehicle, I blacked all that out or left it blacked out. There you see it after the color layer of decals goes on over the white toner base decals. And I think it turned out pretty well. The, I couldn't do all the, the sponsors, but I selectively chose the ones that I thought would appear the best. The wheels, I didn't like the shiny chrome. If you look at the actual pictures of the vehicle itself earlier, they were darker. They did have a chrome edge around them. And so I thought, well, I'll just hit these with Tamiya Smoke. And there you see what I used. And I just paint the centers of those wheels with the Tamiya Smoke. And I think it darkened them up nicely. They're not that bright, shiny chrome that wouldn't have looked quite right for this. 
I did polish up the glass. It was in pretty good shape. Didn't require a lot of work. Off camera, I do hit that with a coat of pledge, not gauzy. <laughs> it was a big piece of glass and I couldn't really dunk it that well in the gauzy. So I went with the bigger bottle of pledge that I have sitting around and uh, it worked wonderfully. You know, it does. I did need to mount the wheels to the base. They're originally held in the base. The interior, it's unlike some interiors on Hot Wheels that hold the wheels in place. It did for the back wheels, but the front wheels were not held in place by the interior. So since I needed to mount those down anyway, I used the resin pin to mount all the axles to the base. And then once I hit it with the resin, then you flip that pin over and there's the UV light that you use to cure that resin. Can't see that all that well there, but there is a UV light shining and that's basically it. <laughs> As you see, it's nice and shiny. Drop that blue glass in. And I'm really happy with the blue glass, like I said earlier, because it really picks up that 6104 number on the side of it. it. You'll see it here in a second when it's all put together. Ah, the fun of putting that back hook in. For some reason, it just turned into an adventure on this particular casting. I was really worried about somehow chipping the paint. And so I was taking it very easy and it doesn't fit together all that easily but once i have it on there i just need to you know throw a screw in it and again it's just the one post at the front and then the hook at the back holds the back half so it's not a super elaborate build <laughs> but i'm thoroughly pleased with this thing <laughs> there you see where it started yeah, the funky old Hot Wheels GMC motorhome. I just couldn't redo that the same way. I couldn't restore that thing. It, yeah, it just doesn't appeal to me all that well. There's a lot of variations of it, but I wanted to do my own thing. And doing this Palmer Designs tribute really seemed like the way to go. So that's where it started. Here's where it ended up. And you'll see here as it turns, you see the blue in the windshield, the, the blue glass, and then that 6104 decal. I just love how that color is picked up. The interior, you can tell it's lighter, it's not black, but the gray of that primer worked perfectly and then sealing it with the clear coat. I did chrome the steering wheel I didn't want too much of the interior to really show up. I didn't want the detail of the interior to show up because I didn't alter that interior from what was originally there. Unlike the speed motorhome that Palmer Designs created, the interior on theirs is a lot different than a stock motorhome interior. So uh, there you have it. This is fun. <laughs> I hope you like this build as much as I do. Yeah, I know. I do a lot of strange things, <laughs> but they're fun. So again, I hope you like this build as much as I do. Uh, there's the glamour shots here. Everybody stay safe and healthy out there. And I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>